Can you ship a building in the mail? 100 years ago, penny-pinching bankers did just that. In Utah's Uinta Basin, early settlers founded the Bank of Vernal that eventually outgrew its original headquarters. The new building required 80,000 bricks, which would cost four times their worth to ship by freight wagon 175 miles from Salt Lake City. With a little research, it was discovered that Vernal was in a separate postal zone. This allowed a 50-pound package from Salt Lake City to be shipped for just 52 cents. Even though this would extend the delivery route to a total of 407 miles, the decision was made. Each brick was individually packaged, stamped, and mailed in 50-pound bundles. Everything was on schedule for time, but eventually bricks began piling up in Mack, Colorado, which was a four-day journey to Vernal. A worried postmaster telegraphed Washington, D.C. for help. The U.S. Postal Service immediately changed regulations, imposing a limit on the weight of its daily shipments. But the rules never applied to the bricks that were already en route to Vernal. The building that became known as the Parcel Post Bank was completed in 1917. Bank of Vernal became Zions Bank in 1974. Today, community banking in eastern Utah remains as solid as this famous building.